welcome back to my channel. You guys just saw me trying to get Carson's bottles ready. It didn't go fast enough and he freaked out, which is why I didn't record after that. So now I do this a lot. I just prop him up on my counters and his little newborn laundry has the cutest little outfit on today. It's penguins and it has like this little hood pocket. So he's going through like spurts of like being really happy and then really angry. So it's been an on and off day all day today. Last night he woke up four times during the night. I'm used to like two and one time he did one wake up which was fantastic. So tonight we're gonna give him a bath because usually baths like calm him and make him sleep longer. So Ron and I were talking, we think we're just gonna give him a bath every single day because he sleeps better, I sleep better. He seems overall happier the next day because he got like better sleep. So bath it is with lavender soap and lotion because it knocks his ass out. So yeah, we just had our bottle. I didn't change him yet, I know he needs to, but I also heard him like farting and stuff, so I'm just gonna give it a minute. <laughs> so while I did that, I made dinner. <laughs> uh, it's funny, cause like, I have, I've only made this two times, and actually the last, this vlog and my last one, I made the same thing. So it's that tur or turkey, it's the chicken ranch tacos um, for the crock pot, so. I'm just putting this on now. It's one o'clock. So this will be done in a couple of hours. I don't know why I'm like way low trying to do this. So four hours. Four hours seems good. So we're gonna push this back and it's going. Oh no. You look like you're getting cranky. Yeah. Oh, I got makeup on him. I know. What? See, it's like a happy smile, but not quite happy enough. Not feeling smiley. What I'm going to try to do is wipe off my counters because they need it. But I swear sometimes he just doesn't allow it. Like, he's not about it. Try to wipe off my counters. Fill my bottles. I just washed them while sitting here. Started this food. I was actually able to do a little bit of makeup today and dry shampoo <laughs> while he took a nap. He only took like a 15 minute nap. Yeah, because that's all he takes, honestly, is like 15 to 30 minute naps. Unless he lays on me, which I don't like doing that all the time because I don't want him to get dependent on that and I need to get things done. And that's the only time I can really do it is when he's napping. So. Sometimes I'm desperate though because he's so crabby like yesterday. So crabby. I think we're going through a growth spurt because they said they go through a growth spurt like in sequence of threes. So three weeks, six weeks, nine weeks, and then three months, six months, nine months, 12 months. So right now we are nine weeks. He didn't sleep good. He's extra crabby. He's in this for like two days now. And usually growth spurts only last a few days where they're cranky and stuff. So I'm hoping tonight and tomorrow we'll be back to normal. He also just found his tongue. Can I see the tongue? Yeah. So he's all about his little tongue. Yeah. Look at that tongue. Look at that tongue. Yeah, if you stick your tongue out at him, he actually does it back, which is what I just said. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look at that, look at the tongue. Okay, so for real this time, I'm going to clean these counters, hopefully fill my bottles, change him, and really try to get some supper. to 
Do my floors. Someone's very curvy. Per usual. This is Sassy, the bird. He is obsessed. He's in a bad mood right now, but every time we see her, we get so excited. The reason why I call her Sassy is because that's actually the brand name. You can look these up on Amazon. They're like $5.99. He's obsessed. Like we have toys all over the place, but nothing beats Sassy, huh? He gets like all kicky. He usually like screams at her and talks to her and gets all smiley. Yeah, that's a Sassy. He's in a bad mood, but we're so <laughs> happy to see Sassy, huh? Yeah, that's Sassy. We have Jet. We have Jet the uh, elephant. The reason why it's Jet is because the tag said, hi, my name is Jet, so. That's what we came up with. This is Jeffrey the Giraffe. Ryan came up with that because it looks like Jeffrey from Toys, uh, Toys R Us. I almost said Toy Story. But Toys R Us because it looks just like him. And this is Sassy. I'm not good with coming up with names. So I try to find inspiration yeah. elsewhere. Yeah. He literally has had his mouth open <laughs> for so long now. This is also very dangerous because he's diaperless right now. With no diaper and their boy, dangerous. But I had to document this. Like, look how cute he is. Like, look how, like, look how cute. We love Sassy. <laughs> so it is some hours later. <laughs> He was me talking and looked up and saw this above it and he's like <laughs> playing with his little tongue. I love that, like that he found his tongue. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help but like he's just so cute. And like he's so alert now which I love. Like he's always like following noises. Like he never did that before. Like he never, obviously he was really young. I mean, he's only nine weeks now, but like he seriously follows everything. But as I was saying, I have makeup all over the collar of this because we just lay down for a nap. I didn't actually nap. I just let him sleep on me because he slept in a swing for like 30 minutes and then woke up per usual. And I was just really tired from last night and I just wanted to lay down. So I'm like, I'm just gonna lay on my chest and like play on my phone. But because of that, I was laying and I was kind of like this, like looking at my phone. So yeah, not cute. So I just got these in the mail. They're the gimme bands. And it's like a really thick hair tie. Like obviously that's a normal hair tie. This is this kind of hair tie, like the gimme bands. And I'm already obsessed. I've been seeing everybody post about them on, the, on YouTube and Instagram and all that kind of stuff. And they're talking about like, there's no elastic in it. It doesn't break your hair. It doesn't dent your hair. And like the best part is, is for thick hair specifically. So like it will keep your hair up. If you have long hair and it's thick or if you just have thick hair in general, it is such a bitch to keep your hair up. Like that's why my hair is down all the time. And I've actually been washing my hair more often because my hair is so long now. Like, bless you. We're giving bath tonight, so that's why that's there. I feel like I have to like say everything, like disclaimers, because I'm like, I don't want people thinking my house is dirty, but like, I guess it's not. It's just diapers, wipes, and his bathtub. But anyways, but my hair is like really long now and I have thick hair. So in order to keep this up, I have to use like two or three hair ties and that's just annoying. It hurts my head. It gives me a headache. So I just really don't put my hair up often unless I really, really need to. I don't put it up in a bun anymore because I can't fit all my hair up in like one hair tie. It falls all over the place. Not good. Or I put it in and like it starts sliding out or it's just like flat to my head. So whatever. So all of these bands are like, it's supposed to give your hair a lot of volume or it's supposed to like stick out from your head and not like flat to it. It's supposed to hold it up through like workouts and stuff like that. I don't work out, but you catch me drift. So apparently it's just supposed to be really good. So they're $12 for six of them. And then everyone has like these promo codes. Yeah. 
So I was like, I want to try one, but I don't want to pay $12 or shipping, even if it's 40% off. So I just looked them up on Amazon. They were on sale for $7 for six of them. And then I just tried the promo code and it was Casey's. So Casey Holmes. So I put Casey 40 off, I think it was. And it gave it to me. I don't think it was supposed to, but I got them for $4 and free shipping. And I got them in two days. So I'm very happy. So I just got them. I tried it out. Yeah, we love them. <laughs> so I just tried it out. So good. Like my hair stayed up. It didn't like hurt to pull it out. Like this is not like a gimmick thing where people are just getting paid to talk about it. I'm sure they are, but like, or it's not good. It's good. So let me show if I can. Okay. So this is like a weird angle, but like my hair, I can't even get all of it in the thing. I'm on my tippy toes, but like I have really long hair. So typically I would put like a hair tie in. Actually, I'm just gonna try it like a normal hair tie and I'll show you guys. So this is two loops of the hair tie. Like, see how it's like real flat to my head? Even if I like scrunch it up, it still is like flat because my hair is so heavy and this is gonna end up falling out so quickly. Like, it's just too heavy. But with this, I feel like I'm a promo code myself. I'm not, but I should get paid for this because this is great. Just two loops with this one. Like already, it feels so much tighter. It's like sticking out from my head. I hope that this is getting in there. And like, it just, it feels tighter. Yeah, we love Sassy. He gets so excited over this little bird. It's hilarious. But like, it just feels so good. Like it's not gonna go anywhere. I know. I hope you guys can see that. But yeah, this hair tie, fantastic. Like, look at that. I don't know if I was able to get that shot like that, but like, wow. I can't tell you the last time that my ponytail was that far off my head. Wow. <sighs> Hello. I wish it was early morning. I wish I didn't suck at vlogging. <laughs> so first time he smiled all day when I said I suck at vlogging that or he just really likes the camera I'm unsure but it is you guys can't see that it's 3 11 the next day we have been so crabby today he thinks it's funny do you think that's funny yeah you think that's funny Clearly he thinks it's hilarious, but today he started off, sorry, I just, last time I did this, I had lip gloss <coughs> all over my teeth. So he has a dinosaur onesie on today and I feel like he's like taking over dinosaur noises, like just squawking and squealing. The attitude, my God, the attitude is real today, but I think we're in a good place right now. Hopefully he didn't take a nap until like two o'clock. And then that nap was only like 20 minutes. So yeah, it's been rough today. Definitely rough, but I was able to do some makeup. It's really, really bright outside cause it's super snow. It's like super snowy outside. So the sun is reflecting off of it and making this very bright. But I use the Dose of Colors Raw Sienna palette today and I really like how this turned out it's like I thought it would be more like burnt orange like sienna this is kind of like pinky red but I'm feeling it it's cute if you guys have tips for how to make a little guy go down for a nap easier please let me know because he hates naps like I don't get it and if he takes one it's only in his swing and it's only for like 20 to 30 minutes like sometimes if i'm super super lucky it's an hour and like at the extreme rarity it's two hours i mean that's happened like a few times <coughs> typically it's like 20 minutes or 30 minutes like on the nose what are you doing yeah now you can't see yourself so we're happy huh huh What are you studying? <gasps> what are you doing? What are you 
Good morning, everybody. Don't mind this hair I got going on. Not only is this like the first bun that I've done, I don't even know how long because my hair ties wouldn't hold my hair. Like in my last thing, I told you guys about the uh, G bands, so the gimme bands, I think they're called. So I'm trying to get my sugar and it's so heavy. Ugh. But yeah, little do you guys know, it is Tuesday, March 4th or 3rd. March 3rd. I just double checked. Last time I vlogged, I think it was like February like 26 or something like that. He's not in a bad mood today. Although it sounds like it. He just doesn't like to be alone and he likes to yell to let me know he's not happy being alone. He's okay. You're okay. You're okay. Even if I talk to him over here, like, he gets better. But the last time I talked to you guys, shit got crazy after that. Let me just say, I ended up, last time I talked to you guys was the Thursday. Today's Tuesday, so it's been a few days. I ended up in the emergency room on Friday. Um, I'll get more into that later when he's, like, sleeping and you guys can hear me. Right now, I'm just trying to make my breakfast, but it was crazy. So, sorry. Yesterday was actually totally okay, but I was trying to, like, cook dinner. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Hi. And then the second I get over, we're in a good mood again. I put this burp cloth on him because he was spitting up. <laughs> I didn't want him to ruin his clothes and I didn't want to go get a bib. Yeah. Look at this little face. Do you see yourself? Oh. My this? I have to do this with my left hand. There we go. There we go. Mama's going to go get her Pop Tarts, okay? Okay, I got about 20 seconds to go get this, but yeah, so that was crazy. I'll get into that later, like I said, and then um, I actually posted my first piece of artwork for sale, and someone messaged me today saying that they want it, so that's so exciting. Yeah, so I'm going to eat my very healthy breakfast of toasted Pop-Tarts. My coffee, and I'm going to watch The Woman Tell All for The Bachelor because I know it's gonna be crazy. It might look like I'm still in my pajamas, but I changed into new ones. And they're not really pajamas. I mean, this is like a, I don't know how what you would call it. It's like kind of a robe, but it's a cardigan. Like it's so cozy and soft. This is from Target and I am obsessed with it. I lived, uh, lived in this thing after giving birth. Like I wore this every single day, every single night, every single feeding at night. Like Ron was like, you have to wash that at some point. The second I'd wash it, I'd pull it out and I like, I put it on and I haven't worn this in probably like two weeks, but I saw it and I was like, I need it. And then these joggers are also from Target and they're so cozy. They're high rise. I'm like, oh my God, they're so soft on the inside and they're just like normal joggers. So I'm wearing all these socks with them. And then this is my Fall Out Boy t-shirt. I'm doing like my OOTD of like comfy clothes. And like I have so many cute clothes that I definitely could be wearing. But it's like, why? I'm just sitting at home. Like why put jeans on and like a real bra when I could just be cozy because I'm just sitting on the couch taking care of a kid anyways and cleaning and doing all that kind of stuff. So I mean like I still feel better cause like I'm changing my clothes, but like I'm gonna be cozy while sitting at my house. I see so many moms that are like stay at home moms that like get ready. And I guess if I was leaving the house, I take that back probably like in the spring and summer, like I'm going to be getting actual clothes on cause I'm gonna be leaving the house, but it's cold and like, nah, I'm gonna stay cozy, but my extent of like getting ready for the day is like my makeup, changing my clothes, of course. I don't care. I don't care. Like I have to change my clothes, even though I'm still wearing like cozy clothes. I can't stay in my pajamas from the night before all day. 
I just can't. So when I really get ready, I do makeup. I mean, I do something with my hair. I mean, like this is like really nothing with my hair, but it's something. So yeah, I feel good. Put some perfume on, even though I'm wearing basically like my cozies. I still feel good. And we just got changed as well. His butt at least. This I usually change him every single day. <laughs> I change his clothes every single day, but um, last night I changed this probably at like five o'clock in the morning because he spit up all over the other one. So I'm like, I'm not gonna put him in something for like three hours just to change it in the morning. I mean, five o'clock in the morning is basically morning anyways. So I changed his outfit into this and I'm just gonna keep him in this all day. We'll have a cozy day. Regardless, he hates pants. Like I think he's so cute in them but he hates them. And, but he does love this little bird. Yeah. The sassy. <laughs> All right, Carson's down for a nap. I just grabbed myself a little snack. I just thought I'd fill you guys in on what was going on. Don't mind all of this. I had a makeup appointment here the other day for a trial. So I redid my entire room, set it up for like a client to come over, which didn't include like a filming station, but I still use these lights. That way there's like perfect lighting because the lighting here is non-existent. But anyways, so if you don't like hearing about like feminine things or blood or things that are TMI, fast forward, this isn't gonna be for you. But this is like a part of just womanhood and postpartum. And I always like, like that kind of stuff because it's real and it's something that could definitely happen to anybody. So I always watch those kind of videos like what to expect for your first period after postpartum, what to expect down there after postpartum and I still have to film my video of like my experience like with my birth story and all that kind of stuff that's coming it's just hard to sit down and film and like not get interrupted so I am at 10 and a half weeks postpartum now it's Tuesday um Thursday is going to be 11 weeks postpartum which is still like mind-blowing that I had a kid 11 weeks ago like how anyways I started my first period after giving birth Friday. So literally like 10 weeks and one day postpartum, which was already like freaking me out because I'm like, everyone says like, oh, you're supposed to start your first period like six to eight weeks. And I was like, if I'm pregnant again, I'm gonna freak out. I want more kids, but not that close. Like, <laughs> no. So start my period, first day was like normal. And what I've heard from everybody is like your, your period is super heavy, it's super painful, like this is gonna be the worst period of your life. Well, this is where it's gonna get a little TMI. I already have very heavy periods, like my normal periods are intense um, and they always have been. So even like postpartum bleeding, I wasn't that like shocked by, honestly. <laughs> like that sounds crazy, but like I expected something crazy after post like giving birth and for me at least it wasn't that bad and I know other people can be t so much worse like I've heard women bleeding for six weeks straight I only did for like two and a half weeks maybe three and like that last whole week was like very 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 light so like I'm super lucky that I had that experience because I know personally people that are like oh my god no I was like six weeks crazy. So thank God that wasn't me. But so I woke up my second day. <sighs> Insane. Like I've never seen anything like that. That is what I expected after giving birth. Honestly, was like that intense. And like the rule of thumb that my doctor always said, all the nurses, hospital, every single person, if you're feeling a pad, if you're feeling a pad an hour for two hours straight, you're bleeding too much. You're losing too much blood. I was doing it every 30 minutes, every 40 minutes from 8 a.m. till like 3 p.m. And I was so dizzy. I was so nauseous. 
and I was here by myself with Carson and I'm like, I just don't feel like this is right. Like, I mean, like I couldn't stay out of the bathroom. I'm trying to say this without getting too gory, too descriptive, but I, I couldn't stay out of the bathroom and I was going through so much. So I was like, okay, something's not right. Like this isn't normal. I called my OB and I talked to like the nurse. There's always a nurse that kind of like talks you through it um, to see if you need to come in for like an emergency um, visit or anything like that or kind of just so like you're okay. So I explained to her what was going on. She freaked out, freaked me out and was like, listen, you could bleed to death. You could have postpartum hemorrhaging. You could still have placenta left over. You could have fluid in your uterus. You could have this, this and this. And she's like, and you could literally die. And I was like, okay. So she's like, don't come in here call your husband, tell him to get home. I don't want you with your kid alone. She's like, get someone else to watch your kid and go to the ER. Now, mind you, I live in Michigan. It's winter and we are number two in the entire country for the flu right now. I'm staying away from everything because I have a 10 week old and I'm not trying to get sick. I'm not trying to get him sick. I don't, I don't want to be sick myself, period. But like, I don't want to get sick because I'm the only one taking care of him during the day. Like Ron works. So I can't have that. I I can't have that. So I don't even want to go to the store. I literally have not brought him out besides to Ron's parents' house once. Not worth it. So when she said go to the ER, I was like, no, like, absolutely not. I'm not going to the ER. That's where everybody is with like the really bad flu. I'm not doing it. My mom that day before got diagnosed with the flu and strep. So I'm like, no, not doing it. She was like, listen, you could bleed to death. I understand. She's like, when you walk in, put a mask on. They're everywhere. And I'm like, oh my God. So I kept, I argued with her for like 30 minutes. Like, can I come into the office? Can I go to labor and delivery at the hospital? Can I do this? Can I have an appointment? Can you call the hospital? Tell them what's going on where I could just like go right in and I have to wait in a waiting room or all this kind of stuff. And she just come and saying, no. She was just like, you have to go to the hospital. There's nothing we can do for you here. You might need a DNC and, or they will give you medicine to like stop your bleeding, slow your bleeding. And I'm like, all right. So I called my husband, I called my mother-in-law and one of my best friends that lives, that, that works right over here. Everyone came within minutes of each other so quickly. I appreciate them more than anybody knows. And Ron and I went up to the hospital. So my friend and mother-in-law watched Carson from like four until like 10 o'clock at night because that's how long I was at the ER. The ER looked like The Walking Dead, like the outbreak where like everybody was like lining the halls of the hospital. Like after you got out of the waiting room, you got called back because there's so many people, they didn't have enough rooms for them and everybody had masks on. And I had a mask on, I'm not sick, but I wasn't trying to get sick. So I was like, no. I had Ron put the mask on. I was like, not worth it. I had literally brought my own bottle of sanitizer and I was like the whole time I was there because I was so freaking freaked out. So they finally put me in a room and I was there for so long. They did a really long ultrasound. They did my blood work and she kind of just was like, no, like your uterus looks normal. There's nothing left over. Yeah. Like there's nothing we can do. Go home. I was so pissed. I was so mad because I even said to the lady on the phone, like for my OB, I was like, can I wait? Like, can I wait till tonight or tomorrow to see like if this sets up? Like I have heavy periods. Maybe this is just my version of it. And she was like, no, you're nauseous, you're dizzy and you're filling that many pads. That's not normal. That's not healthy. You have to go. I was so upset. Like I literally cried that whole night. Like when we got home, everyone was here. I took a shower, Ron took a shower. I was like, we're not touching anything. We're not touching our kid. Get in the shower, like the burn our clothes. I'm gonna burn my purse, like <sighs> freaked me out. All for them literally to say nothing, like, sorry. And I was that heavy the whole next day until probably Sunday, it lightened up a lot. Um, today, it's like basically done. But I'm just, I'm so mad. Because everyone was like, they are going to do something. Like, you have to get something done. They'll give you medicine. And I didn't even think about that statement. That was so weird. A little fuzz from my sock was like, um, I didn't even think about that statement until like I got home about them saying that they could give me medicine. Like, I should have asked for that or something because not only did I waste my own time, expose me and my family to the flu and whatever else is going on at the hospital. 
I also just probably got like a $500 bill, if not more. We have really good insurance, but it's the new, the beginning of the year. We haven't met our deductible now and ERs are not cheap. Ultrasounds are not cheap. Emergency room ultrasounds are probably a hundred times more. Blood work, room stay. <sighs> I'm so sad. I mean, I'm glad that I'm okay. Don't get me wrong, but I'm pissed. And if anybody is going through that, definitely go. Like, even though I'm saying like I'm pissed that I went, I should have went because something could have been wrong and I could have died. But I'm just mad that that happened to me again with <laughs> because that just sucks. So yeah, that's my 11 minute story of my very exciting Friday. Not fun. So I think I'm going to end this vlog here. I have a lot of days to add up. I actually already started editing this vlog and it was like 40 minutes unedited. It always is a lot because I talk a lot. This 11 minute video is probably gonna be cut down to hopefully like five because I talk a lot, but um, yeah, so I definitely don't need to add more to it. It's already been going on for probably like a week straight now because I've had many days like in between I wasn't able to do anything. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It's probably like all over the place and super boring, I promise. Once the weather's nicer, these vlogs are gonna get more exciting because I'm gonna leave my house. <laughs> I don't do that now because like I said, the flu, it's cold. It's a struggle to get out with him. Like he's so young. So once it gets nicer, he's going to be older as well. So it's just going to be so much easier. Like I'll be able to actually like live my life again, which is exciting. Anyways, I'm going to end this here because I'll keep going on. I suck at this. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. And don't forget to hit that notification bell down below because I don't have a schedule yet. <laughs> so that way you'll know when I'm posting my videos. And yeah, that's really all I have to say. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.